And now, your first alert weather. Well, we started off just with the cold weather and now we've introduced snow to it into the afternoon. Heavy snow showers moving across the Snake River Plain right now. 15 degrees out in Idaho Falls. Just six miles an hour of six mile an hour of wind. At least we got that going for us. That's not too windy and we're not having too many blowing snow conditions in some of the rural areas like around Driggs and Victor where some road closures have happened in uh, days past from these kinds of storms. So here's some of the snow showers moving on across right now up from Pocatello getting up into Idaho Falls. Also a little bit of some reports of snow flurries up near Rexburg and Dubois as well as lower half of the snow showers south of Pocatello finally moving past the Magic Valley and slowly getting over into I-15 into the southern highlands right at this moment with some snow flurries already present just west of Bear Lake. Here's today's setup that we have going on for us. We have snow showers located across our region. This is all following a low pressure center that is slowly moving out to the east side. This is what gave us those very cold temperatures because of how low this trough is dipping, allowing the temperatures from well up into the Arctic and Canada to basically come down and give us that or give us all that tons of cold air. But we have a high pressure system moving from the west over to the east. That's going to help replace the snow and in the way future also get us back to those warmer temperatures uh, that we all know and love. Right now, Vipercast coming on forward. We're starting to get a little more snow showers into the southern highlands in southeastern Idaho. Soda Springs down to Montpelier and Preston into the late night hours of 10 and 11 o'clock at night. Maybe even some still sticking around Jackson and Lincoln County. Then those that goes farther away and out of the picture as the high pressure system rolls in for Friday, which will be nice to enjoy for that day. Just a little bit cloudy for the valleys, but maybe just a trickle of a stray shower just east of Jackson. Uh, on that day, but the high really starts to settle in a lot more on Saturday, giving way for some fog thanks to the inversion uh, from the high pressure system itself. And then during the day on Saturday, that's when everything will be gone in the regards of clouds. And we'll look for some nice, mostly sunny to partly cloudy days for both Saturday and Sunday because the high is going to stick around heading for the entire weekend. It's also going to help to replace our cold air with some warm air with southerly flow on the western side of the ridge as the high continues to move out to the east side. We'll have some chances for some rain and snow, hopefully not on Sunday, but uh, most of it's going to start to come in in the beginning half of next week, which could cool temperatures right back down. But for tomorrow, the snow is gone. Do have some nice sunshine for central Idaho, but the clouds are going to stick around for the valleys during the day tomorrow. 22 tomorrow in Preston, 19 in Lava Hot Springs. We're going to have almost a baby crawl to get up to our average temperatures in the upper 30s at this time. 18 in Driggs, 18 also in West Yellowstone. 16 tomorrow in Arco, 22 in Ketchum and 24 over in Salmon. In Pocatello, 23 degrees, 26 over by Burley in 18 tomorrow in Idaho Falls. Blackfoot eight day forecast 20 degrees tomorrow up to 31 by Sunday. That's where we get a lot more sunshine for the weekend as well before rain and snow chances creep back into the picture in next week. In Rexburg 18 degrees are up to 29 by Sunday and then stick with a high of 41 in the middle of next week leading to some good rain and snow chances Thursday of next week in Jackson. 16 degrees is our uh, high a sliver chance of a uh, snow shower possibly coming into the mix, but if anything hits, it'll be very light. Sunshine is in full force on the weekend. It gets our high up to 37 on Sunday in salmon. 24 degrees are up to 39 by Sunday, and then the rain comes for next week, Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the mid 40s in Pocatello. 23 degrees are up to 30 on Saturday and then keep on climbing the ladder up to maybe even 50 on Wednesday of next week before a mix of rain and snow happens on Thursday, bringing our temperatures maybe a little bit back down to the upper 30s by next Friday. In Idaho Falls, 18 tomorrow, 22 on Saturday, then up to around freezing mark on Monday before we keep on going up, up to 42 by next Wednesday before a cold front looks to hit and then cool down our temperatures just slightly into next weekend. But that's after a good sunny weekend for this weekend. Send it over to Eric.